Hi, it's Lily and Lizzie, and we're back. So we have decided to wallpaper the two upstairs bedrooms. We're using wallpaper uh, that we've, the print has been photographed from wallpaper we have in our own home, reduced to a 1 12th scale and printed on some heavier paper. We're now applying some PVC glue. We're using the paper source PVC glue that's for book binding and arts projects, paper arts projects. Uh, we're applying that to the walls and putting in the pre-cut paper. We've also decided to add some baseboard and um, crown molding to these rooms. So this was pre-cut baseboard and crown molding that we painted in the Fair and Ball white. The shade that we're using is Pointing, which is the white we've used throughout this doll's house. And we are putting that in place also with the same PVC glue. So you'll get a sense here of the rooms decorated and then finished with a nice trim. You see here I'm kind of wiping down these walls with um, a paper towel just to smooth down the paper and work out any bubbles. And here we are applying glue to the, uh, to the baseboard and installing that. But you should actually put the lighting in before you put those baseboards. That's a very good point. Which we, we did actually just actually remember realize. that we want to wire a light for the room downstairs, just below. So I'm actually going to come back and uh, put that baseboard in after we run the wire that we need. So. But yeah, that room was the craft room. It's really nice. We did that wallpaper a little earlier. That wallpaper is also wallpaper we have in our own home. Same drill. We uh, took a photo of it and then we reduced it to 1 12th scale and printed it on um, a heavier paper, which we then cut to fit these uh, rooms and pasted in using the PVC glue. And uh, we do have another room that we put some wallpaper on. That wallpaper is bought and we did not print that out, so it is not in our house. It's not in our house. Um, but same idea, we kind of pre-cut it to fit the spaces and then use the same glue. Here we are adding the crown molding in the bedroom. Adding trim definitely makes your project look more finished. What are some tips you have for this? Tips for adding trim, I mean it's all really in the pre-cutting to everything to fit and making sure it's the right size. That makes the job go a lot quicker. The trim is also a great way, especially when you're using wallpaper. If there's any uneven edges at the top and bottom, this is a great way to correct for that. So we're actually covering up some of the uneven edges along the top where I didn't, may have not cut the paper exactly right. Um, so the trim kind of comes in on top of that and gives the whole thing a very finished look. Here we are assembling the furniture in that room. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.